Citroen designers don't care about what other people think cars should look like. They have the confidence they can build cars that are beautiful, elegant, practical, and comfortable. And in 1955, this was the result, the Citroen DS. Now imagine the world in 55. This was the very beginning of the space race. So when this car was unveiled at the Paris Auto Show, it really caught people's attentions, partly because it looks like a spaceship, especially compared to everything else that was on the road around then. And some of the technology that it has on board is still more cutting edge than we see in cars today. For what some call the ultimate vintage car, the DS was awfully advanced. The headlights swivel to highlight the road. It came with hydropneumatic suspension, a revolution replacing mechanical springs with a pressurized fluid for a super smooth ride on France's pothole-packed post-war roads. And it still works on America's rough roads today. So it's this strange semi-automatic gearbox that you have to get used to. And that's just the thing with Citroëns. They're unforgiving if you don't know what you're doing. So you really have to learn how to drive these cars. They are not something you can just jump into. Now, one of the cool features of this suspension was it meant this car didn't come with a jack. If you've got a flat tire, you just pump it up as high as you can, like it is right now, and then put a pole that it came with underneath, and then just lower the suspension down again and the wheel where you'd left the pole would stay with that side of the car propped up in the air. You could just swap the wheel out, put your spare on and be ready to go. The name in French, Citroen's home country, is pronounced DS, which means goddess. The DS was built from 1955 to 1975, but it never sold very well in the US. It was designed for an austere European market that taxed big, wasteful engines. In 1970, Citroen launched the SM. It was much more of a driver's car, with a proper V6 designed by Maserati, which Citroen briefly owned. And what makes that so special is that this car was released 15 years after the DS. Things haven't really changed technology-wise. It still uses that same hydropneumatic suspension, the same little mushroom button on the floor for the braking, and yet it still feels revolutionary. You can see the same design influences, the aerodynamic shape, the swiveling headlights, the all-encompassing hydraulic system. But of course, the world had moved on from the mid-50s. The SM came just after Concorde's first flight, a joint French-British project and another vision of the future which seems to have influenced Citroën's designers. These cars are part of a new Citroën exhibition at the Mullen Automotive Museum, north of Los Angeles, 46 of them in total will showcase the brand through the years. Today, the French manufacturer is going on 100 years old and is part of the huge PSA Peugeot Citroën group. It has had to get a bit more mainstream to survive, but its designers still love a bit of Gallic quirk, using the European auto shows to demonstrate some truly original ideas, and also just a hint of that original DS charm.